you live there, people around, they are saved because of you. It will come to you in Jesus' name. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. That shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. That shall tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion, and the dragon shall that trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he had known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show my salvation. That is a powerful verse of scripture. That those, those verses are powerful. Believe it. That is what you need at this time. Believe the word of God and it will work for you. I am Mrs. Ejumudo, Torisheju Ejumudo. I and my husband, we host the marriage workshop. It's been around for six years now. Glory to God. And one of the, our, our mission is to help other marriages to get better. To help other, marriage, um, um, other marriages become sweeter. Why we do this, we preserve generation. Any marriage that we stay together in love, the families are kept. This, the, the, this, the generation, they are preserved for good. They are preserved in love. And you know what? God has given us children because they will, they will take on the world. They will go out there and become the light in their generation. But they have to see that in our, in, in our marriage as couple, we are the examples that our children see. So marriage is sweet, is important to God. And God has given us everything that we need to make our marriages sweeter. Make sure you call your friends, invite people, tell them it is time. The marriage workshop is on. Make sure you invite others and this is a time where your marriage is going to get to another level in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, we've, we've seen what's going on. God is never taking on our ways. It's not all about keeping your focus just on the negative things that are going on around you. There's a time and a season for everything. This is the time for marriages to be built up in love, for marriages to get better. Some couples, they've not had this time where they are together for a long time. But this season, we have to use it wisely. If you are home with your husband or your wife, it's not a time to say, oh, this bad habit I cannot stand. No, I'm tired. I'm already tired of it. It's a time to look inward. It's a time to strengthen your marriage. It's a time to build. It's a time while you are at home. It's, it's a time to build your marriage. I'm going to read Ecclesiastes 3. The Bible says there's a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. 
a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build. I'm going to stop there. You can read the rest of the ch chapter. When I looked at this verse, I said to myself, it is a time to build. It's a time to build. I'm going to welcome everyone watching again. It's a time to build. Call your friends. Now we, we are calling people a lot because we cannot visit them. So tell them what is going on. Tell them, invite them to watch this. This is going to be a blessing. It's a powerful time. God has ordained this for our good. Yeah, people are coming in. Invite others. It's a time to build. Some, you know, when most people that dated for dated before they got married, most people did anyways, they spent time together, whether they were on the phone, whether they, they saw, maybe they went on dates, they, they created that time to build that during the courtship days. So now, in this very busy world, it's time for you to focus on your wife or your husband. Some marriages have never had this closeness for a long time, especially in developed nations. The husband is going to work in the night, the wife is coming in in the morning. But now you have yourself together with your children, if God has blessed you with children. It's not a time to start complaining, but it's a time to build. There are some things, there are some keys, there are some, some, some ways that this period will not be wasted. This season will not be wasted. I'm going to give some points. I'm going to give some, some, some keys that will help you. I've been at home for almost two weeks now. And when I came out today, when I came, I was like, wow, this is really, really, really serious. But it's a time to be focused. It's a time to, to, to build, to plan. How do we do this? To achieve, to make this season useful, what do we do? You have to concentrate on your marriage. Yes, I know there are so many negative news out there. But you have the time now. Concentrate on your marriage. Spicing up your marriage while you are at home. It is time to spice it up. It is time to be creative. Those things that you've planned to do but never had the time, use this time to help build your marriage. Oh, we don't spend time together. You, we don't do this together. I know they, they've advised us to, to, to be indoors. Yes, we can still get creative and use the time well. The first point I have is to, you have to prepare for the day. Preparing for the day is key. Don't get too comfortable in your PGs. You just wake up, you are there or you're bare, you don't want to get up. Get up and get dressed. Because I've been home for, for almost two weeks and the days I had my bath in the morning, I felt better. And even the days I added a little bit of makeup, it was much better. 
it, it just it changes your mindset. It's like you are, you are prepared. You're not taking on a, you're just sitting down because when you sit down, when you're just in bed, you don't have your bath, it's like, it's, it, might be dull, it might be a dull day. Freshen up. Set the tone for the day by preparing. Plan the day. Make plans. If you, if you don't make plans, you will concentrate on the negative things. You will concentrate on things that are not essential and waste this valuable time. I call, it's, a very, it's, a, it's a valuable time for your marriage and I want you to see it that way. It's a time where a lot of things will change for you in Jesus' name. There's one key thing. Some couples don't have time to pray together. They don't have time to... sit down and have devotions. Some do, but this time as you, are, as you are home together, it's time to pray and have those devotions that you look forward to. Have a spouse devotion. Study together and pray. Some couples have no time to pray together. It is time to commit Start with the time. Okay, 30 minutes, we're going to talk about the word of God. We're going to discuss. We're going to kneel down and pray. When I was preparing for this meeting, God blessed me with something. It's a time to, you can even pray for other couples. You can pray for one, maybe Mr. Johnson and Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. If you pray for one couple every day for the next 14 days, if you pray for different couples, that means you've prayed intentionally for 14 couples. Is that not a blessing? Pray for yourself. Those desires that you have for your spouse, this is the time. Pray. Spend time studying the word. This prayer is powerful. The Bible says in James, said in James 5, 16b, the earnest prayer of, the, of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. So you are praying for yourself. You are praying for other couples. That is an amazing thing to do at this time. You are praying for the future. When, we, when this year, beginning of this year, nobody knew about this. Most people did not know. Even some believers were taken on their ways. But it's the, this is the time to even commit the rest of the year. It's a time to be focused. It's a time to pray. As a couple, pray for your marriage. Those things that you want to see. This is the time. And I tell you, you will have mighty results as you pray in Jesus' name. Create time to talk during the day. Time to have those discussions. You've been putting off those, those things that your husband wants to talk about. Your wife want to talk about. Create time. Okay. If you are not, if you are maybe, for example, you are not, you are not really working from home. Or it could even be in the evening. Okay, by 7 o'clock, we will talk about what we've always wanted to talk about. It will, it will change your marriage. Those discussions that you've been putting off, this is the time to do those discussions. 
there's something that that will help. Have rules. If if you're not used to, some couples are not used to deep, honest discussions. Deep, honest discussions. Have rules. Sit down and make sure you finish those discussions well. Nobody should walk out. They were not working out. And I told you, when you talk, when you talk like that, it brings solution. But when you keep sweeping things under, every time you're sweeping things under the carpet, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It matters. This is the time to have those conversations, those deep, meaningful conversations. Switch off your phones. Everybody's receiving all kinds of messages. Switch off your phone, look at each other, sit down and have those discussions. Talk now and you'll see the solution. Reason with your husband, reason with your wife. Don't walk away. Let the children go to bed early. Then have those discussions. It will help your marriage. When you look back, you will thank God that you, you use this time well. Relieve good memories. I remember when I was coming to the UK, <laughs> I came with very few, I want what few belongings. And one of the things I came with, I came with my old pictures. <laughs> So those old pictures, create, you create time to look at them. You're not doing it on the past so that you can have a good laugh. Maybe you can even do it with your children. Look at mommy when she was just something to laugh about. Something to laugh with. You could even have games that you've been longing to play. This is the time to have those things. Those, because laughter, laughter is good medicine. Laughter will help build your home. Don't only say, oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do next? What are, what's, going, what's happening around? Relieve good memories. Oh, remember when we had our first daughter? Talk about those things. You remember when you were cutting me, just talk about things that will make you, that will bring laughter. You, it, you, it could be a time that you want, to, you want to dance or you want to sing. Maybe like for someone like me that has a very good voice. <laughs> it's the time to sing to your husband. I was just joking. It's time to just do things that will bring laughter in the home. Those tense atmosphere, drop it. I pray we will not be home for too long in Jesus' name. Have those times. Laugh with yourselves, not at the other person. Laugh with yourselves. The Bible says in Proverbs 17, 22, a merry heart does good like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bone. So people are even sad at this time because they are concentrating on the wrong information. I'm not trying to downplay what's going on, but you say a, the Bible is the, the, the Bible is the way forward for us. A merry heart does what? Does good like medicine. But a broken spirit tries the bone. That's, that's, the, that's the, a word for one family. That's a word for your marriage. Create laughing time. Take some time to dance and sex. Do your exercise. For those that have desired to have flat tummy, this is the time. You might, not be, you might not be blessed with a garden, but if you are blessed with one, there's always something to do to get that will, that will bring laughter. Don't be, don't be, don't be, don't, don't be stiff about this, about the whole what's going on at this time. 
Make sure you put laughter in your marriage. It will heal a lot of wounds. Plan the future. This is very, very important. There's a popular saying, this too shall pass. In Jesus' name, there's a time and a reason for everything. This too will definitely pass in Jesus' name. There are some things that you've both dreamed. You've, 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 you've had it. I want to do this. I want to travel. Plan the future. Be open about how you feel. And ensure that you write those things down. Don't just sit down and talk, talk for hours on end. Write those things down. Have a marriage book. This is, this is so important. I know most marriages, they don't have a marriage book. It is good to have a marriage book. And keep it. You know, when, my, when I had my pastor had a marriage book before they got married, oh, that blessed me so much. It is good to have that book. Write what you, your vision, write the things. You know, when you write things down, most of the time you will achieve it. In Jesus' name. You can take it to another level. You can make a dream board of your marriage while you are at home. Everything you need is already in the house. Make a dream board. You can even draw and say, oh, I would love to be in Paris. I would love to be in, this is my dream home. You put a swimming pool, just write it down. Write the vision and make it plain. Oh, I see us traveling in a private jet. Just write your dreams. And I tell you, God will help you achieve it in Jesus' name. Put those dreams, make it colorful. The next point is, have a bonding time. This is so important. Yes, most families, most couples are blessed with children. I know you are homeschooling, but still create time to have those bonding time. Plan for the children to go to bed early. So you can have those bonding time. It could be just to make love. Or look into each other's eyes before you sleep. <laughs> just be naked. Just things that you've always desired to do, but you've not had the time. This is the time. Don't make excuses with the children. Put them to bed early. Somebody said something to me yesterday that this time, in nine months' time, we will know what has happened. <laughs> well, God has told us to multiply. So have those bonding time. Do what you have to do. Have that closeness. Because there's something that is amazing. Before you know it, these children, they've left the house. So prepare. Start knowing each other now. Bond. Be close. Another point is to declutter. This is so important. Both physically and maritally. Physically, 
you can plan to if you maybe you have a loft or you your wardrobe is so full your hus husband and wife sit down what do you think about this what do you think about this this has to go declutter those bags that you've kept that you bought on sales this is the time you've not used them and you will not use them this is the time to give it away travel light in life this is life journey we've seen that the things that we've we've all have now people are not even able to go out to spend the money so have a lighter life some there's something very important declutter maritally this blessed me so much what it means there are some past hurts there are some some things that you've held on to this is what you said in 2018 the husband is still keeping that in his heart this is the time to let it go yes it is it this is the time to let it go it is a time to drop that past out stop keeping it saying that i must hold on to it no declutter it could be anything little big in law offenses it is time to drop it don't carry it over to the new season start afresh let it go and repent your family is worth so much more this is very sensitive but important make up your mind to forgive your wife and your husband it could be a time to talk about it and and drop it now everybody's talking about washing my hands washing my hands clean up your marriage too wash your marriage clean stop carrying those hurt those pains it will cause stress in your marriage it will it will it will reduce the love in your marriage you need the love to be born in you need the love you need to take it to another level you cannot carry clutter with you emotional clutter this is what you've done i'm taking it no i'm not going to forgive i'm never this is time it's even a time if perhaps you've, you've left your home as a, as a woman or a, or a husband, you've left your home and you are hot, maybe this is the time to even reach out. It's a time to reach out to say, okay, why did this marriage not, why did it not work? Can it still work? Yes, it can. There's healing in Jesus' name. Amen. Do your favorite things together at home. This is very important. For example, your husband has been asking you to prepare a particular kind of dish. This is the time for you to serve. You are both home. It's the time for you to serve one another in love. You can rotate it. I'm only saying that we have two weeks to stay at home. So that's my, that's my hard desire that we have two weeks to stay at home. So rotate it. Sweetie, you cook today for me. Tomorrow I'll do your favorite thing. Alternate, because some, some, of, some, some of us are working from home while we're at home. But it's time to still build your marriage. 
at least you are not you are not driving out to work. It is time to concentrate. It is time to look at yourself. It is time to build. Build your marriage. This time should not pass by without you changing things about your marriage. The points that I've listed so far, look at them critically. Start applying them. This will help. Okay, you've not had discussion for a long time. Sit down. If it's one hour, or some people, they are so uptight, they need to enjoy themselves. They need to rest. They need to relax. They need to enjoy a movie with your wife. Enjoy a movie with your husband. This is the time. If that's what he enjoys or what she enjoys, sit with them and enjoy it because now you are not, maybe you're not going to work. You are just there looking for one thing or the other to do. This time is not a time to grumble, but a time to be focused and build your marriage. Do all you can. Prepare. I will, I will prepare for the, for, the, for the day. Prepare for the day. Plan. This is what's going to happen today. Plan a night before. This is the time to be prayerful. Have the, those spouse devotion. I'm just going to read some com comments. Okay. Yes. Chama Mavie said, there's no football also. So good time to discuss with, without distract, distraction. No, nobody's saying, oh, they've scored a goal. This is a good time to discuss without distractions. Dickness Glory said, very true. So it's, it's, it's time for us to come together and plan, plan every day. I will go through the points again, just in case you are just joining. I'll go through the points. Prepare for the day. And viewers, you can still, you can add, you can give me your comments, what ways that you intend to build your marriage at this time. I said, prepare for the day. Create time to pray and have devotions. Create time to talk during the day. Relieve good memories. It could be time for you to dance. It could be time for you to get those pictures out and just laugh. Laugh with it. It's a time to plan the future. Those things that you plan, it's good to plan the future. Make a dream board. Have a time for bonding. I know the men like, like this one a lot. A time when you just shut the door. Do have sweet love making without distractions. Declutter both physically and maritally. Yes, you can do that. You can declutter. It is time to declutter both physically and maritally. Those things you've been keeping, it's time to start bringing them out. Talk to your spouse. Okay, this past hot. It is time to give it up. No more. I'm not going to take this to the new season. What you said in 2016, I'm dropping it. I'm not going to talk about it again. I have forgiven completely. Do your favorite things 
together at home. Serve one another. Don't make it a time where you are like, oh, I'm cooking today. It is time, it's a time to serve. Marriage is all about serving one another. If you make up your mind to serve your wife in loving ways, you will see amazing results. If you make up your mind as a husband to just keep loving your wife this period, sowing the seed of love is very important. Then as a wife, you make up your mind to submit. God will help you. He will help you to build your marriage at this time. But you must, first of all, make up your mind to do it. Don't let this time pass you by without you getting into it. God is healing homes at this time. Look away from the negative information. It is time for you to build your marriage. It is time for you to concentrate on yourself as a husband or, a, your, or your or wife. Like I, I would said, it is even a time where if you've, if, if you've even left your home, this is the time to think, why did I leave? You can even make the first call. Do deep thinking. Was I even right to leave? Is it pride that is keeping me? I must go back. Just like the prodigal son that realized that, that came to his senses. This is the time for you to think. Also, the singles is a time to prepare. Prayerfully prepare. This is what I want. Declutter. Let go of that, those past hearts. Because you cannot be holding on to the past and expect the, the perfect gentleman or the perfect wife. Let it go. So this is it's a total package for the, for the married to plan, prepare. The singles, it's time to prepare. Those people that have left their homes, it is time for you to think. It is time for you to say, was it worth it? And you can still go back. And there's all, also a word for those people, even at this time, that are caring for their loved ones. It could be a spouse that is sick. Receive the healing power of God right now in Jesus' name. Lovingly take care of them. God has given you the grace to do that. And you will do it in Jesus' name. So don't let this time pass by without you investing, without you sowing seeds into your marriage plan. And I tell you, God will mightily bless your marriage at this time. Let go of the past. I'm going to read a verse of scripture before we close. 
I'm going to read Proverbs. In Proverbs, Eighteen, verse ten. It says, "The name of the Lord is a strong tower; the righteous run to it and are safe." That is the word for you. Your family is protected in Jesus' name. Keep that word in front of you. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. Your loved one, they receive the healing of God right now in the name of Jesus. Do all you can to make your marriage sweeter at this time. I'm going to say a word of prayer before we close. I'm going to pray for marriages. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this time that we've had. We give you praise. You are a good God. This word has come. Lord, help us even at this time. Strengthen us to be focused on building our marriage. Turn our eyes away from the negative information out there in the world. Help us to build our marriage in ways that we never thought possible. As we plan, as we let go of past thoughts, as we declutter, as we, do, as we prepare for the future. Lord, Strengthen us, even at this time. Let us not be focused on the negative things, but to concentrate on building our marriages and even praying for other marriages, praying for the desires of our heart, being focused on the very thing that you've called us to do, to serve one another in love. Help the wives, even at this time, to be focused on serving their husbands. Help the husbands, even at this time, to be focused on loving their wives. Lord, give that family the grace to sit down and have that discussion that they've been putting off. Lord, help that wife to heal of that marital pain that she's had. Father, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, even for those that have left their marriages for one challenge or the other. Father, remind them of your word. Help them, even at this time, to think about what you want them to do. To be energized, even to, if they have to apologize. Give them the strength. Father, this word has come for a reason. That marriage is healed in the name of Jesus. That heart, oh Lord, that pain, oh Lord, you have erased it. You have erased it. You are a God that can do the impossible. Lord, that heart is touched in the name of Jesus. Father, even for the singles that are watching, Lord, I thank you for their lives. I give you praise because at this time, oh Lord, they prepare. They are not focused on complaining. They are focused on preparing for the right kind of marriage. They are writing. They are writing their dreams of what you've given them. Lord God Almighty, you have told us to make the vision, the vision plain. Even as these singles make the vision plain. Lord, they see amazing results. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for such a powerful time that we've had. Lord, I thank you for those that will watch this video after. Lord God Almighty, the word of God is in their heart. The ability to do the word. In the name of Jesus, Lord, 
we are strengthened at this time to be focused on love and not on past thoughts. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching. Look forward to Thursday evening. That's exciting times lined up. Like I introduced myself before, this is the marriage workshop. Our vision is to make marriages sweeter and preserve generation in love. Be focused on what God has done. Know that your family is kept safe even at this time, that no plague shall come near your dwelling. Walk in the consciousness that you are safe. Be blessed and I will see you next month by God's grace. Bye. Have a great time building your marriage. Bye. A wonderful name, Jesus. Yeah,